Rolls-Royce is known for its luxury cars. From the Phantom to the Ghost, every model has been a symbol of opulence and prestige. The name itself is synonymous with style and elegance, and the cars are some of the most expensive in the world, so you know they're made to last. Most Rolls-Royce models are equipped with the BMW N74, a twin-turbo V12 engine. However, there are a few variants depending on the model. Such powerful engines, combined with the cream-of-the-crop build quality of Rolls-Royce models, create ultra-luxurious models. Even the most modest car will cost over $300,000. Rolls-Royce is also the world's second largest maker of aircraft engines, after General Electric, and has major businesses in the marine propulsion and energy sectors. In a world where the future is being shaped by renewable fuel-powered vehicles, Rolls-Royce has announced a new technology that will change everything. Today, aviation is responsible for 3.6% of world's greenhouse gas emissions. Modern planes use kerosene as fuel, releasing harmful carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But what if there was another way? It's time to get excited about the future. Rolls-Royce has unveiled what it claims to be as the world's first hydrogen jet engine, and we are here to tell you why it's worth getting excited about. The new technology gives airplanes an eco-friendly alternative to traditional engines. In July 2022, Britain's well-established engine maker officially joined forces with European's leading economic airline, EasyJet, to achieve the net zero emission goal by 2050. The two companies contribute to H20, the initiative that focuses on sustainability through hydrogen. Now Rolls-Royce and EasyJet are testing out their two supreme engines, AE2100 turboprop and Pearl 15. The aim is simple, to prove that hydrogen can efficiently and safely power small to mid-size commercial aircraft. This officially brings aviation one step closer to becoming a zero-emission industry. The green hydrogen fuel was sourced from a sustainable energy source in the Orkney Islands of Scotland. The European and Marine Energy Center produced energy with the help of wind and tidal power alone. That, in turn, was used to power an electrolyzer to extract hydrogen from water using electrolysis. The initial ground test successfully shows that a business jet can run on hydrogen-based fuel at low speed, while emitting minimal to zero amounts of carbon dioxide. The two companies plan to move on to a second set of tests, which will in turn lead up to a full-scale ground trial of a Rolls-Royce Pearl 15 business jet engine. Rolls-Royce Chief Technology Officer Grazia Vitadini said of the developments, The success of this hydrogen test is an exciting milestone. That will be a huge step forward in meeting the challenge of net zero by 2050. Also, EasyJet CEO Johan Lundgren added, We are committed to continuing to support this groundbreaking research because hydrogen offers great possibilities for a range of aircraft. Flying is one of the most difficult industries to decarbonize, and technologies such as electricity or hydrogen-powered aircraft are still years from carrying a plane full of people over long distances. With this promising results and more upcoming tests, Rolls-Royce expects to put completely carbon-free hydrogen-powered flights in service by mid of the 2030s. However, there are doubts regarding the feasibility of such hydrogen-based commercial flights, as critics claim that it won't be possible for planes to carry the large quantities of fuel on board. The large amount of hydrogen in plane would be required for long-haul journeys, and would possibly mean that they would need to be radically redesigned to support such operation. While hydrogen has an energy density almost three times greater than diesel or gasoline, it needs to be chilled to minus 253 degrees centigrade to keep it liquid creating some technical challenges for aircraft designers. Moreover, it takes approximately 3,000 liters of gaseous hydrogen to get the same energy as a liter of kerosene at atmospheric pressure. Rolls-Royce states that it is confident about using hydrogen fuel to power short-haul services. However, for the long-haul ones, the best eco-friendly option as of now is undoubtedly sustainable aviation fuel. Sustainable aviation fuels are favored by some because they can be dropped into existing aircraft with few modifications. SAF only reduce carbon emissions by 80%, while hydrogen produced with renewable energy creates negligible CO2 and none while being burned or used in a fuel cell. SAF is also expensive. Produced from biological resources, it is between two and six times more expensive than traditional jet fuel and it currently covers less than 0.1% of the aviation industry's needs. 
Hydrogen fuel could make up 32% of the market by 2050 if it becomes commercially available by 2035, according to a study from climate think tank Energy Transition Commission. Fly Zero, the UK study into zero-carbon emission commercial air travel, concluded that green hydrogen is the optimum fuel for zero-carbon emission flight and could power a mid-size aircraft with 280 passengers from London to San Francisco directly or from London to Auckland with just one stop. Rolls-Royce aren't the only ones doing this in the industry. Zero Avia have already flown several smaller-scale aircraft on hydrogen fuel alone. Airbus is also heavily investing and researching the technologies required to make this possible, and they already have three concept designs for aircrafts to be powered by liquid hydrogen. Earlier this year, in January 2022, U.S. nonprofit the International Council on Clean Transportation published a study that found green hydrogen would be a cheaper aviation fuel than e-kerosene for trips up to 3,400 kilometers. Reaching these goals will rely on a number of factors. First and foremost, hydrogen storage technologies need to advance to carry enough liquid hydrogen in planes for these journeys. A switch to hydrogen-powered engines would require a complete redesign of airframes and infrastructure at airports. And redesigns of plane interiors will be required to work out how to integrate all the necessary systems and tubing to run commercial planes on hydrogen. Storage and distribution of liquefied hydrogen at an airport will vary from tankers and bowsers through to the installation of a hydrant system similar to those seen for jet fuel at large airports. The engineering and technology required are very different, reflecting the specific properties of liquid hydrogen. The only waste product from using hydrogen as a fuel is water. But green experts warn the hydrogen must be generated sustainably. While so-called green hydrogen is made using renewable power with no emissions, other forms are made from natural gas and emit carbon dioxide in the production process. The real challenge is to scale up the production of hydrogen and to do so in a way that is compatible with environmental objectives. Most of the world's hydrogen today is produced by reforming methane from natural gas, a fossil fuel which produces carbon dioxide. Efforts are underway, however, to develop green hydrogen by using an electric current from a renewable source to convert water into hydrogen and oxygen, and reduce emissions in its production. If that is possible, along with no emissions from the planes themselves, aviation could become a truly green form of travel. Transport systems and fuel industries, or power networks, coexist in a kind of interdependent, almost chicken-and-egg relationship. Airlines will only order new hydrogen jets if the fuel industry has already established that hydrogen will be available at the scale that can support their operations, and can do so at a competitive cost. As high as this hurdle may appear, there are causes for optimism. Other areas of the economy are already starting to implement hydrogen-powered solutions, such as buses, trains, trucks, and home heating. And the demand these users are producing should help attract investment into the hydrogen industry. The UK is leading the global shift to guilt-free flying, and today's test by Rolls-Royce and EasyJet is an exciting demonstration of how business innovation can transform the way we live our lives," said UK Secretary of State for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy Grant Shapps. Even if these prototypes make it out of the lab, though, it's an open question as to whether there will be enough fuel to support aviation any time in the near future, given the tiny amount of green hydrogen currently produced. Nonetheless, hydrogen could play an important role in a greener future for aviation, and any progress should be welcomed. So what do you think of Rolls-Royce's hydrogen jet engine? Do you think hydrogen-powered aviation is a good way to help us achieve sustainable development? Let us know in the comments! If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.